Tale of Two, we take a trip to 1313 Mockingbird Lane one final time with the Lily Monster NECA Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another NECA unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the ultimate edition Lily Monster from the Rob Zombie Monsters movie line but for all your Lily needs and a whole lot more make sure you end up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and Lily Monster the final piece of the Monsters puzzle of course, we unboxed Grandpa. We unboxed Herman Munster on the channel. I believe my dad joined us for those videos. He's not here today. He's still retired. He's retired. He's not coming out. He said, I'm done, especially on Munsters. I'm not talking any more Munsters. So he's out on this one, but not me. I'll never let you down. I'm here for this Lily Munster unboxing. Possibly the weakest link of the three. That's my... Uh, going into this opinion i guess and we'll see if that changes at all and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there we're gonna see what old lily munster is up to probably no good no good but a heart of gold right there but old sherry moon zombie herself of course known as baby from the house of a thousand corpses and devil's rejects uh, that's where we fondly remember her from. But she was Lily Munster here, falling in love with Herman. The story uh, is uh, old as time, some might say. But an interesting one, an interesting movie. Not for everybody. I'm glad I watched it one time. I didn't set my world on fire. I don't need to watch it again. But for one viewing, I thought it was fine. And you guys can chime in in the comments if you want. Munster's right there. Good little artwork going on. Munster's, you got her on the side. Same thing over here. Munster's at the top jibber jabber on the bottom and then on the back you got some glamour shots going on we got the cross cell down below nothing too exciting with this one and then inside here you do got lily glamour shot and then you do get the bubble window looking very very good and a few accessories going on but without further ado let's get her out of the package let's see what lily is up to here and like i said could very well be no good very well could be i like the background there nice little purple color looking very cool sky hook See you later, goodbye, and then Plastic Prison right here, looking interesting. We'll pull this one out. There it goes. We got accessories, faces, all kinds of stuff. See you later, Frisbee style. And what do we got here? Oh, silica packet. Yum, delicious. See you later, goodbye. See you later, goodbye. And now we're down to business here, and business just got real strange. Hmm, I don't know what to think about this one. We're going to dive into that in two seconds here. I don't know about this one. Let's dive in, though. Let's go through these accessories first. That's what we're going to start. And we're going to start with the hand. So she's got uh, a gripping hand and a splayed out hand. And we got two more splayed out hands right here. Some very long, creepy fingers on her with black fingernail polish. Uh, but nothing too exciting in the hand department. No fists of fury. She's not going to fight anybody. If the wolf man comes walking through, she's not going to give him the old fist to cuff. She's going to slap him. Give him the old paintbrush is what's going to happen there. Now, we do get a little magazine action here. What does this say? Uh, better Tombs and Gardens. That's interesting enough. And then Funeral Car on the back, finest. So a little magazine, a little grim reading, I guess, is what we'll call that one. So we do have that. Then we do get a little paperback book going on. So, And I can't tell what that is. Something Secret Wife. Huh, some kind of a romance novel or whatever. But uh, yeah, The Secret, secret Wife. So very interesting. You want her to hold a book. She comes with a book. An interesting accessory. Same thing with the magazine. You want to cross over. Use those with your NECA Ninja Turtles. You could probably do something like that. So as usual with NECA, you can kind of put some of these accessories together if that is your thing. But now we're going to dive into Lily here. And this is real interesting. Instead of removable heads like we usually get, it's a face plate. So we got two different faces to use here. Now the first one here, Todd McFarlane on the couch is going to really enjoy this. He was sleeping. He just rolled over and gave me one of those like, what's going on here? I didn't think we were doing McFarlane today. But you never know when you're going to be called upon, Todd. You always got to be ready. You always got to be ready to go. This one, Lily on her head, face here, head, face, face, head. You know what I mean? 
She's got a little side eye going on. A little of that McFarlane old school side eye going there. So very interesting. Uh, a little bit pale in the skin tone. Big black bushy eyebrows. Nice red lipstick. Very bright giving a little dash of color there. But she's got some side eye looking off to the side. Now the second head sculpt here. Full on smiles. Happy day. Happy day at the office. Happy to see your old friend Herman Munster. Future husband of course if you saw the movie. Uh, but interesting faceplate changes. Wasn't expecting that, I guess, but uh, leaving you guessing, I guess, is the NECA team. Just like the Munsters movie, leaving you guessing. Like, what did I just watch here? What did I just watch? Uh, but an interesting one as far as the head goes. But getting down to the hair, long, long hair. Of course, got those white streaks in there. Very, very patented Lily Munster, of course, looking nice, but very long hair here. Uh, and that face, yes, easily just pulls out from the bottom, slide the new ones in. Very, very easy to do. You just kind of got to move that hair out of the way a little bit. Uh, but it just seems to slide right in. So uh, I like the ease of that. And we've seen a little of that with uh, the WWE Mattel Elite line with the hair changes over and stuff. And maybe we got to look to that in all action figures in the future that uh, instead of just a new head, they're going to give us new face plates or new hair. Cut down the cost a little bit, possibly. Maybe less in here. Because it would be pretty easy in this instance here. Just give us a bunch of different face plates. You got basically a new head going on so that makes a lot of sense really uh she does got the purple gown throughout very regal very uh nice gown no issues with it purple across the board you got a little rubber bands kind of going on as she just got her big is it a cape is it a shawl what is this i don't know what it is her uh dress uh that's what it is but this is soft goods everything else hard plastic but very very nice looking there but one thing that blew me away here is you got the hard plastic on the back end. And she is basically a traffic cone. It's almost she's like she's a statue. There's no leg movement, anything like that. She just has a base. No place to put a stand on, nothing like that. She's just going to stand there. So you're not going to have to worry about her falling down or anything. But really strange. So we got no leg movement of any kind. We do got waist movement. So you got a little hula hoop at the waist. That is it. Her arms do go up. Of course, they will go around. No bicep cut. You do get side to side, single jointed elbows. Hands removable, as we know. Back and forth, side to side. Head's going to be side to side, up and down. But you are limited by all that hair on her here. So a very interesting figure. And I'm not sure if this one really feels $36.99, $38, whatever it is with tax and everything. I don't know if I feel like I got the money's worth out of this one. Is It almost feels like a statue. There's not a lot to it. Not a ton of really cool accessories or anything like that. It's just kind of a figure that's kind of just here. However, if you're collecting the monster figures, you got the other two. You kind of need this one in the mix a little bit to complete at least the initial family. And uh, that's where Lily kind of fits in. It's like, hey, you got to kind of have her. At least in my collector brain, I do. But uh, her family here, of course, Grandpa Munster and All Timer. A beautiful, beautiful figure. Like I said, say what you want about the movie. I really do like some of these figures, including Grandpa. I think Grandpa looks really, really good. Love the soft cape on him. Love the skin tone color. Just a very, very good figure. And while not the classic Herman Munster, it almost feels more like Frankenstein versus the Wolfman Frankenstein. It is a very cool figure for what it is. I like the vibrant kind of green color on him. Just a fun, fun figure you're here these two really fun and lily just kind of completes it but more completes it like an accessory than an actual figure so an interesting one a little bit of a head scratcher here full of surprises with that face plate and the body not being a real body so a very interesting line and i think this is probably it and i think this is probably it as far as rob zombies monsters go doesn't seem like many people enjoyed the movie don't foresee a sequel on the horizon so we're just going to have to enjoy and leave the memories alone with this set right here. And hey, two out of three ain't bad, if you ask me. But I'm going to ask you, what do you think about these threesome? Did you pick any of these up? Did you pick Lily up? Did you pass on all three? That's probably the over uh, majority there. But let me know your thoughts on these three figures in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos, bonus content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. All going on over there, the old Patreon channel. Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Grandpa Munster, uh, Lily Munster, and Herman Munster too, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.